and it happened right at Pentecost. I'm asking you today after Jesus' resurrection, there has been a Pentecost. It has already happened. And the things we do in the shower, some people look at us like you're crazy. But that's what it's all about today. You've got to praise your way through. Yes. Praise is a weapon. Yes. God, the Bible says in Psalms that God inhabits the praises of his people. You know what a heck in heaven means? That he lives there. Right. When you praise the God, I'm not saying you've got to be all dramatic and emotional like me and cry and stuff. Put your hands on the snot, whatever. I can't help it and I ain't apologize. Right. But you can just raise your hand and praise God. You can, like my grandmother, she was quiet and you know, she was tangy and quiet. She just put her head down and cried. But she was worshiping her God. Yes. And that ain't nobody's business how we do it. Just please do it. Right. Worship Him in spirit and in truth. The third point was it happened and Pentecost after resurrection, He made us free to do it all we will. Yes. So now you're free today to do the word. And I'm asking you, by the grace of God and His mercy, to preach on the third point. Preach what God gave you to preach in this text. 24, 47 says, what is our message going to be, Jesus? He said the message is the same. You're supposed to tell people that they need to repent, change their ways, and accept him as their Lord and Savior. And he gave Matthew 28 as the last indictment to the church. The body of Christ. Matthew, y'all know what Matthew 28 and 19 is. It's the Great Commission. That's the third point that I want to make in here about what do you preach. Because see, preaching ain't just for me and Pastor Michael Newman and Pope right. Preaching, prophesying is only proclaiming. Right. And anybody can do that. Once you're born again, you need to be able to break down to people in the world who Jesus is, what he has done for them. Save this dying world by your testimony. Revelation says you're going to be known by the word of your testimony. Not mine. You ain't going to go up before Jesus and go, Mr. Vaughn told me. Now, you want to know what you got out of it. So I praise God for you right now. And the last part is the message should be is not changed. The charge to keep is for you to go be therefore into all the world. And whosoever believe you, speak it to them. And if they don't, keep going. But you got to tell it here. Give the message, the message of the good news that all mankind is to do God's will so that we might be saved. Because it said in Romans 10:9 that if you confess him with your mouth, believe it in your heart, you shall be saved. Ain't no doubt in shell. Doubt is a, 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 a positive word. It means you will be saved. And saved for what, baby? Saved from death, hell, and the grave. That's what we're saved from. God has already done it, y'all. So let's line up with the will of God, like John 17 said. He said, Jesus, he's, Jesus cried to his father and said, Lord, I wish that there would be one like you and I are. See, because the Father of God and the Son of Jesus never did uh, count, counteract each other. If he said something, Jesus has took it and gave it to us. And the Holy Spirit on the inside of us receives it. And then we can do the will. I pray today that you've been blessed by the word of God. And the three points so you must believe. It's written in the word. We've got to get the word. And the last thing is, what do we preach? We preach salvation to those who